Well, there we go, guys. Game over. 1-1. One, one. Probably, in the end, a fair result. But I've got to be honest, a lot of turnouts are dreadful. There we go. It's an empty stadium. It was empty for most of the game. Quite an attractive place, to be honest. But only 131 people, I counted. That's my own unofficial attendance. But I can't believe it's much more. And the more concerning part was that they apparently get that sort of attendance pretty regularly. Um, so, there we go. First match under... We actually still have Afonin. Um, I would say the main notes I'd pick out is he was quite bold, to be fair. At half-time, made three substitutions all in one go, including Artur Gazdanov. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about this because he is, on paper, he is the most talented, most dangerous attacker that you men have. Um, but he keeps getting substituted at half-time, just after half-time. Um... And they can't seem to find a place to get him, that get the best out of him and play two up front, which is what they seem to want to do. Um, right, I'm trying to find my way out here, but it doesn't look like there is one. Not exactly the most welcoming of places, shall we say. Um, well, could you, could you, could you record it? Time. Oh, okay. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of help getting in the right way. Um, Anyhow, he made a few changes. One of them was Daniel Karpov who came on. Daniel Karpov made a lot of difference the opening 15, 20 minutes. He was in so much space. Really, really fired up, running at the defence, causing problems. And it was his little dribble that basically led to Alexander Sabotin getting a bit of space just outside the six-yard box, you could argue. Uh, and he scored. David Zakhov really, really should have put the winner away. Um but just couldn't quite keep his composure from six yards out and for the last half an hour kind of petered out. But now I've got my long journey back, so wish me luck.